Hi, in this video, we're going to show you something more about phone formatting. So you see here that there is an, uh, a phone field. If we are going to check out Salesforce and going to look at the type of this field, <coughs> we will see that Salesforce has a specific type for phone. Uh, there is nothing, see the field, the data type is phone. Salesforce will not do anything specifically with that uh, phone type, but it's interesting for us because we can use that phone type now to start uh, making rules to format the uh, the way that you want this, uh, to show out this, uh, this, uh, this form, uh, phone format. Okay, let's go into the configuration. So what I'm gonna use here is um, my phone field that I want to format, and I will format uh, not only uh, uh, Belgium phone fields, but also uh, other type of phone fields, like for instance, for the US. Um, and we're going to check out how we're going to do that using PDF Butler. I have a document. That document is uh, very easy. I just say, OK, I want some formatting, and I want an international phone format and a national phone format. This is interesting because an international form format you will uh, be able to use for international dialing. So you will add, for instance, plus one for the US, plus uh, 32 for Belgium. Uh, in the national form format, you will just have the local form format like you would. You don't need an international uh, country code for the form formatting. So that's the two items that we're going to show here. Let's take a look in the uh, configuration and the setup. Uh, okay, I'm going to go to my setup here. In the first step, I'm going to add a data source, my account data source. And in the account data source, you already see that the phone field is automatically set to the type phone. That's important because, yeah, it knows, it needs to know that this type is a phone field, obviously. Okay, now when that is done, I'm going to add this one. We're going to add two config types. First config type being the international number that we want to use. So let's uh, copy this and then go here. I'm going to do the international number. It's going to be of type uh, single. I'm going to choose the account, the phone. And now um, I want to say I want to format it. And the formatting is going to be the international format. OK, put in my merge fields. OK and new. So now I'm immediately can create a second field that's the national phone number so also gonna uh, copy this paste it over here it's gonna be a single the account the same field I'm gonna say that i want to format it and i want to do the national format so that's for internal uh, country calling okay everything seems fine now uh, i have ob obviously have to add my document as well so form formatting and i'm gonna save this yeah, document needs an alternative name. And I'm going to save this. So now the phone format is saved. Let's just give it a test. So uh, in this case, I want to format it like it has to be formatted in Belgium. Where, so we know the uh, or we have a dictionary of all the rules of uh, formatting phone numbers worldwide. And if I click the PDF here, then it will, of course, say plus 32 for the international number and uh, add a zero for the uh, national number. So this is exactly how I would uh, assume my telephone numbers in Belgium. Okay. Now I want to show how we can format a number for another country. Let's say that you are from the US. Um, I'm going to put here a number that's uh, specifically for the US. You see it's unformatted. If it will be formatted, obviously we would keep the format. So I will show you later on. Uh, and as a locale, we would be uh, using it in US. If you don't have a locale field, but your user is in the, uh, uh, is registered for, for English US, it will also work. So you don't need this locale field. It's just an example to show that we can do multi-language and multi, uh, yeah, multi-country, uh, for this type of setups. So again, if you say my business is only working in Germany, in the US, in the UK, and all my users are registered for US, UK uh, in Salesforce, then it will use, of course, your user settings, not the settings of some kind of a field that you're using. This is for testing purposes. Okay, let's take a look. I have my phone number here. If I'm going to say I'm going to format this number, you would see that for the international, it that added a plus one, and it did the formatting for the national code just fine. 
So let's say here that you want to do some formatting or you have it already formatted right here, but maybe not totally correct. You may, and if you save it, then we of course will inter interpret this number and do it correctly for you, as you can see right here. So that's uh, form formatting.